Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the various parables of Jesus which are contained in the Gospels, and this week, the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, found in the Gospel of Luke. Let's take a look. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Luke 18.10 Pharisees were a religious group who stressed the importance of oral tradition and the use of Jewish practices, even in a non-religious context. A publican was a contractor and overseer of various projects, usually for the Romans, who also collected taxes for them. Because of this, Jews generally looked at them as traitors and Roman sympathizers. The Pharisee, standing, prayed thus with himself, O God, I give thee thanks that I am not as the rest of men extortioners, unjust, adulterers, as also is this publican. Luke 18.11 The Pharisee offers a prayer to thank God for making him different from other people. He sees the grave sins that others commit and judges himself by comparison to them instead of comparing himself to the commandments of God. I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Luke 18.12 the Pharisee also pays special attention to the practices that he engages in for the pursuit of holiness, like fasting and tithing, a process of giving a certain portion of your income to the temple. And the publican, standing afar off, would not so much as lift up his eyes towards heaven, but struck his breast, saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke 18.13 the tax collector recognizes his sinfulness and pleads with God for forgiveness. This is in stark contrast to the Pharisee who seems not to acknowledge his own faults. I say to you, this man went down into his house justified rather than the other, because every one that exalteth himself shall be humbled, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Luke 18.14 what Jesus is saying is that the Pharisee's mistake was in using his prayer to praise himself and focus on himself rather than acknowledging the good that God has actually done or what it is that makes God great. We can certainly still enjoy some of the good things about ourselves which God has given us, but given the fact that we're not in heaven yet and we still need forgiveness and redemption, our prayer time with God should really be more about drawing closer to him and less about, wow, look how great I am. The Pharisee could have thanked God for literally anything else, the beauty of that morning sunrise, the food he ate that morning, the fresh air he'd been breathing all day. None of those things would have come across as self-exaltation, yet none of them is a request for mercy either, so there are more appropriate prayers. But the point is that if we want to pray to God well, steering clear of our own accomplishments as a central topic is a good step number one. It's one reason why I don't really like when people clap for each other at church. Next, parables about pestering. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.